A few days ago, we witnessed a historic but disappointing moment. The first marathon featuring humanoid robots in Beijing. And let's be honest, the performance was rough because out of 21 robots that took part in the event, only six finished. And the Unitree robot's performance was sluggish, awkward, and nowhere near what we've been shown in the slick, futuristic demo videos that Unitree regularly releases. It struggled hard and even fell down at the start. Like for me, this wasn't the fluid, Kung Fu Master, backflipping robot we've seen in Unitree's carefully edited demos. It was bad, and by bad I mean really bad. Which raises the obvious question, are those Unitree demo videos just heavily edited marketing fluff, or is there a different reason behind this huge performance gap? Unitree actually responded to the backlash and offered their explanation, which I'll get to in just a moment. But first, I want you to take a listen to this short video. We've dubbed it using 11 labs for clarity. And by the way, if you want to try it for free today, the link is in the description. It's the CEO of Unitree talking about what's coming this year in terms of new features and capabilities. He promises major updates, new skills, better mobility, and smarter AI. Just listen. Let me not waste my credits by typing what he says. Now, AI-driven robots are evolving very quickly every day, basically faster than I expected. And every day brings me very big surprises. Uh, uh, you need to develop the AI model of the robots well. I'll say, uh, once that is done, uh, use better AI computing power to train it, which significantly accelerates technological progress. Why should there be uh, one person assisting it? Oh, Actually, it's for fun, um, to enhance the interaction between robots and people. Of course, you see, yeah, we recently upgraded the software algorithm for humanoid robots, making them more fluid. Uh, they might dance better than most people. I personally feel that uh, by the end of this year, the AI of humanoid robots will reach a new level. I think if all goes well by next year or the following year, basic services or some industries can basically be operational. However, for home use, it might be a bit slower because the safety requirements for home use might be higher and may still need the foundation to be slightly more mature. It is a great honor, of course, and certainly there is a lot of pressure. Uh, I believe we need to continue to work hard because uh, all the private enterprise guests present feel encouraged by the general secretary. I feel that everyone is very spirited and full of fighting spirit. After hearing that, it's clear that Unitree has been pushing out a huge number of updates in the past few months. Some customers who bought their robots earlier might be wondering where all these new features are because it's not guaranteed they've received them. We know for a fact that Unitree has started rolling out over-the-air updates, and now some of the robots can talk, walk more smoothly, and even interact in ways that were unheard of a year ago. Let's get this party started. I'll play a song and do a little dance for you. We arrived and we finally have ourselves our very first update for the Unitree G1. But judging from what we saw in that marathon event, it seems like the running upgrade or marathon ready update hasn't rolled out to everyone. Or maybe it just doesn't work well in real world conditions. Unitree in their defense stated that the company didn't actually send a team to the marathon. They claim they've been too busy lately and clarified that anyone who owns a Unitree robot is free to deploy it in any activity, but the results will vary based on how the robot is trained. That to me is sounds like a diplomatic way of saying, don't blame us if our robots fail, you didn't train them right. But I also think that their explanation kind of makes sense, but it also highlights a much deeper issue with how Unitree is rolling out their products to the public. One of the most frustrating things about Unitree right now is their decision to commercialize these robots before they were market ready. If you spent thousands of dollars buying one of their robots last year when some of them were essentially glorified toys, you might be stuck with an outdated version that maybe can't access the latest advancements like running. Or maybe you got a version that doesn't have enough degrees of freedom to KO your enemy. Because even as of now, what is more confusing is that Unitree hasn't made it clear whether the new models we see in those demo videos, the ones doing kung fu and walking like movie characters, are even available for purchase yet. So you will buy a Unitree robot thinking that it can run, play soccer, or it's a kung fu expert, but it turns to be an older model that was just hanging it in the dealer's warehouse. Then later you get mad at how it can't do anything close to what they advertise in their demos. It also doesn't help that Unitree seems to be running multiple iterations of the same robot model. For example, their most advanced version of the G1 robot costs around five times more than the $16,000 version that many early adopters bought. So there's a strong chance that someone bought the cheaper model, assumed it was capable of marathon-level performance, and ended up being part of this public embarrassment. Again, Unitree has a special robot that is meant for sports. It's called the G1 Comp. So sometimes when you buy from them, you need to know specifically what you want. Because as far as we know on this channel, the $16,000 version is not that advanced. In order for it to stand, you need to place it in a certain position. If anything is misaligned, it won't wake up. Then it just follows pre-programmed commands to move to the right, 
left, etc., and a few other functions like waving but its hands or fingers are stiff, so it won't shake your hand unless you add some more money to buy a more advanced version. The Marathon exposed a harsh truth that if you bought a Unit Re robot today, maybe it won't come with those latest updates. But Unitree's tech is advancing so fast, and they will be the leaders of robotics pretty soon. But buyers beware for now. You might pay premium prices for a robot that doesn't come with new features. Maybe try to inquire more from the dealer you're buying from, and also be more aware which iteration you are buying.